Hey guys, today we're back with another Versus review. And today on the channel, we have the Colt Python 2020 edition versus the Smith & Wesson 686. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be having the uh, Colt Python versus the Smith & Wesson 686. As a disclaimer, this is actually a 629, not a 686, but it's uh, close enough to it whenever it comes to how it looks and everything, and I was just gonna use it as a placeholder. All footage of me shooting is with a Smith & Wesson 686. But uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we'll start with looks. Right off the bat, as you can see, there's a big difference in between both of these guns. You have a uh, vented real barrel on the top of this one, and you have a full barrel on the top of this one. Uh, to me, like I said, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I would rather have the Python and how it looks than the Smith & Wesson 686. Both guns are uh, very well balanced, don't get me wrong. And like I said, this is a 44 Magnum, so it will be a little bit heavier. But both guns are very balanced, very well, and uh, both are very nice guns. But I would rather have, in the end, whenever it comes to how they look, I would rather have this uh, Colt Python than the Smith & Wesson 686. So going to how smooth they feel. Uh, depending on what 686 you have, as you all know, I've actually already got a, a, a Versus video up of the Colt Python versus Smith & Wesson 686, but that was a 1986 Colt Python and a 686-2 uh, 357 uh, Smith & Wesson. So I would say, uh, you know, if you haven't seen that one, go view it, but that's with the old Python. And I was wanting to do a uh, new Python versus the 686. So looking from an actual uh, perspective of if you're going from a brand new 686 to a brand new Python, which one I would rather have. Um, the 686 is triggers like the Dash 6, I think is what they're up to now. The ones with actually the Hillary hole in them, uh, the actual lock and where you can lock up the hammer. Uh, the double action on them are horrible and I did not like them at all. You have to work on them whenever you leave from factory. They're just, the double action is very stiff and it's not good. Uh, Single action isn't bad, but it's not the best. Uh, this Python right here will blow away double action and single action, so I would rather have it in the end than the new uh, 68 than a new 686. But now, if you want to take into consideration this one here versus an old 686, you're going to have a uh, pretty good heads up battle. I've had some very, very, very good double action Smith and Wesson 686s and single action. Uh, I've always liked the double action on a Smith & Wesson better than a Colt just because it feels like it's one constant trigger pull all the way through. And uh, that's just me. I just feel like they are uh, a better double action. The Python, even though this one is a new trigger system and it feels better whenever it comes to one single uh, pull all the way through and it does feel smoother, I feel like uh, towards the end it, it gets a tiny bit heavier but not like the old Pythons. But now when it comes to a Smith & Wesson, I feel like it's one constant pull all the way through. So I would give the double action to a Smith & Wesson uh, if you're looking at a pre-lock. But now whenever it comes to single action, I would also give it to the Smith & Wesson pre-lock. Uh, but now if you're talking about the new ones with the Hillary hole, I would give it to the Python. But uh, my Python, for some reason, uh, the single, single action, action does not feel as good as uh, on, some, on the other 686s I've had. Uh, the 629 is double action. You breathe on it and it goes off. I mean, just straight off the bat, this one right here has got the better double action for sure, 100% than this Python. But, um, and even whenever you're taking in consideration all the other 686s, uh, pre-locks I've had, they're better than this new Python and uh, they will run you about $800. Whenever this one right here at the time has got an MSRP 1500. So, uh, you know, whenever you're taking in consideration, would you rather have this one than that one, than the, a pre-lock, I would probably say uh, in build quality and everything like that with the double action and single action, I would probably take the 686 pre-lock than the new Python. Uh, next up, you have pretty much build quality. I've never had a, a 686 pre-lock or locked edition that has ever given me any major problems. Uh, the last 686 I had um, had some problems with um, 
let's see here. I'm trying to remember what problem it did have. Uh, it had light primer strike problems because it had an actual trigger job done uh, out of factory. And uh, it was not really that bad. It would be probably one out of every 20 or 30 rounds he would shoot would be a uh, double action problem. And sorry if you hear that background noise. It's uh, raining now while I'm filming. I wouldn't. I didn't think it was supposed to be raining today, but sorry about that. But uh, the double action on it uh, was so light that it would have uh, light primer strikes. And this one right here, this python I'm having, uh, between every uh, probably two to three rounds I'm firing, it's going to have at least a one double action uh, failure to fire as you can see right now. Uh, I'm actually about to send this uh, pistol back to cold, and not only that, uh, at one point, as you can see also, uh, the trigger uh, is going, or the hammer's going back and forth, and the cylinder will not, uh, will not uh, rotate, and uh, I have no clue what happened with that. So uh, this Python is 100% going back to cold, and hopefully I will have me a new one, or they will fix it or something else. I'm aggravated up one side of the wall and down the other with this python right now, but I still was wanting to put this uh, video out for you all and try and be as unbiased as possible. Um, whenever you take into consideration how uh, beautiful it is, the grips will also play a uh, point in it. Uh, the old python grips I thought was beautiful. These right here are nice too, but I really don't enjoy um, these new grips as much as I did the old python grips. If you have a pre-locked 686, I would rather have had them grips on it than these just because of how well they fit my hand and everything. But if you take into consideration the new grips on the new 686s and how uh, the rubber feels and all that, they're still okay, but I would rather have wood grips. So going head to head, wood versus Packmar, I would rather have wood grips than the Packmar grips that come on the new one. But if you was going from a pre-locked 686 standpoint, I would rather have the old uh, grips on it than these new grips on this Python. Uh, accuracy wise, I feel like I'm a lot better shot with the new Python than I am uh, this old 686s or new 686s. I feel like the accuracy on these are uh, still uh, second to none, so I would 100% I would give accuracy to the Python than the new or old 686s. Uh, that's really about the only thing that uh, I can really think about anything else that you would uh, want to compare them with. Uh, maybe after I get the, my new Python or this one fixed or sent back or get a new one in, I'll do another review if I can find the 686 to be a little bit more in depth on them. The side to side view probably would be better. But now, uh, if you're looking at, here's going to be the big thing, $1,500 or 650 to 700 for a new uh, locked six and 686. Which one would I do? Pretty much meaning that you can buy two 686s for the price of this one. Uh, I would say the 686 over the Python. Pythons are smooth and Python is nice, don't get me wrong, and it's more beautiful. But if you're coming from an actual standpoint of which one will get the job done better and which one will do just as better a job and the price point, I would say uh, the 686, but now if both of these was the same price, if this was $750 and, um, or $700 and the new, uh, or and a new 686 was $700, I would say the Python over it. And uh, going from the pre-lock perspective now, uh, new Python versus pre-lock, pre-lock will run you about $800. This one right here, once again, will be around 15 to 13, depending on where you find it at, if not more than that. Uh, I would still rather go with a pre-locked 686 for $800 than uh, the Python for 1500 That's just my, my personal opinion, and whenever it comes to money and what your money's worth, that's, that's two different things and how much you can spend on one of these. But I would rather have the, uh, I would rather spend 650 to $700 on a new 686 than 1500 on a Python. And that's me trying to be as unbiased as possible and give you all my honest opinion. So guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in space below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for viewing and I will see you all in the next video.